Hello everyone at the Engineering Expo. Before we start, the Chemistry Society at USF wanted to share with you our mission statement. The Chemistry Society allows students to become better acquainted and to ensure intellectual stimulation that arises from a professional organization. Our hope is to provide opportunities that will enhance the learning experience for undergrads while also helping to improve the community, school, and organization. Now, the first experiment that we conducted involved a reaction between 10% hydrogen peroxide and yeast. Yeast is used as a catalyst to break down hydrogen peroxide into oxygen and water. The dish soap was added so that when the reaction was completed, it would bubble upwards like a foam substance. It's that simple. The next two experiments are simple ones. The first one involves iron filings that are attracted to the magnet forming the shape as it travels down the hourglass. The second simple experiment shows the liquid being boiled because of the heat production caused by rubbing your hands on the glass surface. The fourth and final experiment shows a beaker filled with sand. The sand contains the heat so that the beaker doesn't break. Afterwards, Zippo fluid was spread among the sand and then baking soda and sugar was added, followed by the lighting of the Zippo fluid. The snake-like form was created because baking soda is just sodium bicarbonate and when you set sugar on fire, it creates black carbon that traps the carbon dioxide that gets decomposed from the baking soda and thus this leads to the snake-like formation that you see. Thank you so much for joining us today, and the Chem Society at USF hopes you had a blast at the Engineering Expo.